You are watching William Patterson University Television. <laughs> the inside joke. <laughs> Dingo dongo, Marco! What am I doing here? Yes, my child. I'm the Queen of England. I'm just gonna keep rolling. It's like my dad's not even neutered. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Get my leg on. Live from Studio A in Hobart Hall, it's America's favorite improv show and scene with your host, Joey Fatone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to And Scene. I'm your host, CJ Von Essen, filling in for Joey Fatone. If this is your first time watching, our four lovely players from the Pioneer Players Club will be improvising scenes and sketches off the top of their heads with help from our own prompts and suggestions from the studio audience. Let's meet the players tonight. All right, first up, she's been glued to her phone all night. It's Sam Cordero. <laughs> Next, she brought the graham crackers and blue cheese. It's Carlisa Brown. <laughs> Then she will destroy you in a pillow fight. It's Juliet Sheeter. <laughs> Finally, she still hasn't found her pudding field bra in the freezer. It's Reagan McClure. <laughs> All right, guys. Our first game of the night is called I Like My Women. In this dirty little game, I'll be giving an object that the players will have to compare to women or men by saying I like my women how I like my blank. So your guys' first object are pillows. Pillows, seen in when you're ready. I like my women like I like my pillows. Suffocating me. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women how I like my pillows. They're just surrounding me in my bed. <laughs> I like my women how I like my pillows. Fluffy, soft, and on the floor in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women how I like my pillows. I sleep on them every night. All right, the next call for is uh, sleeping bags. I like my women how I like my sleeping bags. <laughs> I like my women how I like my sleeping bags. Sweaty, gross, no. <laughs> I like my women how I like my sleeping bags. Easy to slip into. Oh. I like my women how I like my sleeping bags. Noisy and in a tent. <laughs> I like my women like I like my sleeping bags. Um, I actually prefer to take them and make them into a blanket. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, the next call for is popcorn. I like my women how I like my popcorn. I like my men how I like my popcorn. I shove a bunch in my mouth at one time. All right. All right. Oh my gosh. You could choke. Yeah, be careful. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh God. Oh. Go. No, you go. It's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my popcorn with butter and burnt. <laughs> <laughs> I like my men how I like my popcorn only in a movie theater. Nice. <laughs> I like my women how I like my popcorn drenched in melted butter and probably screaming ow if they could. <laughs> All right, our last call for, I like my women how I like my rom-coms, romantic comedy movies. I like my men how I like my rom-coms. They make me slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ladies. I like my women how I like my rom-coms. I don't really know the last time I even watched a rom-com. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I like my um, men how I like my rom-coms. I don't think he either likes rom-coms either. <laughs> <laughs> I like my men how I like my rom-coms. They went out of style like 10 years ago. Etsy! <laughs> all right, all right. Guys, how'd it feel comparing men and women to a bunch of objects? I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all objects if you, just, if, if you think hard enough. Did you stare at Kevin in the audience? 
Kevin's in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> That's your All plan. right, guys, our next game is called Half Scripted. In this game, Sam and Carlisa will be doing a normal scene, but Sam can only talk in lines from the book she is holding. And while Carlisa is the straight man. So, Sam, what is the book? Bad girls don't die. All right, this is gonna be good. Guys, your call for is that you guys are spilling the tea. Scene in when you're ready. Girl. Let me tell you what Juliet did yesterday. Because you're the one with something hanging over her head? I am taller than her, so it happens, you know. Sorry, that was rude before. Yes, I agree. But it's okay. I will tell you the tea anyway. I will spill it, as they say. Home is where the heart is. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, Juliet, Juliet said something completely different, actually. Where's mom? See, that's why, that's why I wanted to talk to you. Juliet said that mom's gone. Oh. What happened to her? <laughs> she ran away. I stopped by my locker and felt a dozen pairs of eyes on me. Yeah, it, well, it was probably because everybody was looking at you because you were the only one who didn't know. <laughs> 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 who did you think made breakfast today? There was none. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, though. About the breakfast or about mom? Uh, yeah, well, you seem pretty determined. I'd hate to disappoint you. I think mom disappointed me. <laughs> I, I was really looking forward to breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see my sister's room? We live in the same room, because I, I am, yes. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this place before. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I love our living room, but. <laughs> <laughs> Answer me, what are you doing? I already told you mom left. <laughs> Is someone coming for you? I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wild. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to do this later. Alexis and I have things to do. She said we have to do this later. <laughs> you said you guys, so I, I had to talk to someone. <laughs> Don't you have to tell someone you're leaving? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of cheerleaders. They're so shrill. Yeah. What does shrill mean? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, it's time to get up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, well, we're up. <laughs> I love what you've done to the living room. High ceilings. <laughs> well, don't you dare walk out of this house, young lady. I literally haven't moved. And scene. <laughs> All right, everybody, get back on that couch. Uh, why, why did your ma leave? How are we supposed to know she's gone? <laughs> I, I'm trying to put some pieces together in this story. I just know there was no breakfast. What was, what was breakfast supposed to be? Eggs. I don't know. We have to have breakfast to know what it's going to be. <laughs> How very existential of you. All right, <laughs> we'll just continue on then. Don't worry, guys, because Antine will be right back after this. <laughs> 